In the study of Jonangpa art, it's important to uh, know the three key locations of uh, the Jonang uh, Kumbum temple, uh, Jonang Takten Punsokling, the monastery of Taranata, which is still extant with beautiful murals, and then uh, Tsangwa Monastery in the Zamtang region of East Tibet. These are the three areas. Then you have to know who the main figures are that appear in art, such as Dolpopa, Kungadrolchok, and uh, Taranata. There are others, but but uh, they're they're not as uh, as dominant, not as easily um, recognized. Now, in in terms of actually with painting, actually recognizing a Jonang painting, if there's no inscriptions or if the if, if there's no historical central figure with um, uh, clear iconography such as Dolpopa or, or Taranata, Th then you have to look for the protectors, the protector deities such as the Raudrantaka, the uh, Trakshe in Tibetan, or the um, Panchanata Mahakala with the Kila uh, lower body. So, so those are the, the key points for the overall study. But within the the um, study of looking at the, the, the materials, looking at um, uh, sculpture, scroll work, murals. If we're looking at, at uh, scroll works, if we're looking at uh, paintings, <clears throat> then we have to be aware of painting sets. And, and, and this is important because we have quite a number of different painting sets depicting the previous lives, the previous incarnations of Taranata. Uh, we have at least six sets. And we have, uh, I would say at least five of the six are early. And by early, I mean uh, 17th century. And uh, the sixth one, one out of uh, Tsangwa Monastery in East Tibet, then that's relatively late. It could be um, uh, 20th century, most likely. So w we have these sets and... Uh, I would think that really only one of them is complete, um, and it came it came out of uh, Jonang Taranata's monastery, Takten Punsoklen. It came out complete um, to India in the uh, in the 60s, 1960s. So then we have a, a another set which is extremely important from uh, um, art history, art style point of view, and that's in the Gimei Museum. A uh, very beautiful set. And then we have uh, some random pieces. We have um, the Rubin uh, Museum of Art. We have the Royal Ontario Museum. We, we have some random museums that will have one painting out of a larger set, and we only know of these uh, individual paintings uh, currently existing. We have not located any of the others. Now, aside from Taranata, we also have Mahasiddha sets. We have sets of the 84 Mahasiddhas, and as you know, there's at least five different systems of uh, enum not enumerating. There's five different systems of, of labeling which who are the Mahasiddhas, and, and they're not all the same. There's not 84 Mahasiddhas, and every system has the same names in it. Now, some names are shared, of course, Nagarjuna, uh, Virupa, Dombi Haruka, Tilopa, Naropa. Um, so sure, we have uh, shared Mahasiddha names, but then we have many, many others that are not. And they might show up in only one of the systems, they might show up in two, but they don't show up in necessarily all. So, Jonang Taranata, he actually wrote uh, what's called in Tibetan a drik. He wrote a, a short text which uh, describes how the 84 Mahasiddhas should appear um, in uh, painting or murals. And this was done because he was having uh, a wall uh, painted of Mahasiddhas in, in his uh, new monastery in the around the 1620s, 1615 and uh, so he wrote this text. And then based on this text, there were many, many sets of paintings done. And uh, so we have, we have several important ones. We have one at Sera Monastery, um, just to the, just to the um, north, north, uh, east of Lhasa today. Then we have uh, some um, uh, paintings from a broken set from a set in uh, Prague in a, in a museum in, in Prague in Europe um, so we also have 
sets of paintings that are based on the Drieg, on the text of Taranata that were made uh, later during the time of Situ Pench and Chukijungne in Palpung Monastery. Palpung Monastery for the 84 Mahasiddhas followed the Jonang tradition of depiction. Um, then we have a set of illuminations. So it, it's a set of paintings, or just miniature paintings. They're illuminations, and uh, they're based on uh, Kunga Drolchok and Girme Dechen, another teacher who is involved with the Jonangpa, the Shangpa, uh, and the and the Sakya. Uh, so this is just very quickly, uh, just kind of uh, trying to reinforce the importance of painting sets uh, within the Jonang artistic tradition.